folks, uh, this is Olynthia. Um, yeah, I thought I would, uh, since I'm getting back into the whole videos on YouTube, uh, I think I uh, thought I would do a uh, March uh, 2012 ban list prediction, really. Um, as usual, it gets a lot of thought, a lot of people debating, arguing uh, about what should be banned, what shouldn't, uh, what should come back, so on and so forth. Um, so yeah, this as obviously as most people's ban lists are, uh, this is quite opinion based. Um, but I think these are the possible things that are going to be gone uh, come March. Um, so I'll start off with the cards that I think should be banned. Um, first one, Future Fusion. I wholeheartedly hate this card. Uh, it, it just just nowadays it is ridiculous. It's Premature Burial on complete crack. Um, sending five cards to the grave to get a fusion out, you think, yeah, okay, that's fine. But in, you know, in the in the game where the graveyard's kind of everything now, it's it's a bit pointless and a bit well, not pointless, but just game breaking to be honest. Especially, you know, obviously in the dragon deck where it's most uh, most got you just dump two wyverns, two red eyes, black metal dragon and something else and you know straight away you get to it just annoys me that it really does and I don't like it um, and I, th I think it should I think it should go um, going on to the second one um, I think the plants are the plant deck is quite old now uh, and I think Konami are gonna hit it to kind of move on from it because it has been there for a long time um, and I think it should be dandelion to go. Um, I think if you ban dandelion, you can then start shifting all the others up. So like, um, debris dragon can go up to, uh, up to two. Uh, Lone fire can go to two or three, whatever. Um, because if you were with banning dandelion, you're not banning the the prospect of actual plant decks. Uh, you know the original plant decks, not the herb derba um, ones that are in nowadays. Um, and I think banning that would be quite healthy for the game. I mean, I run plants. I mean, I, I quite like the cards, but for all, in all fairness, I think it's ridiculous because you can get the ridiculous combos going from it. Um, so I just think you should, I think that's the one that should go. Um, going on to uh, limiting, um, I think the the new decks that have come out now, which are, you know, your Insectors and your uh, Wind-Ups, um, they are just ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. The wind-up loop is crazy, um, and how you can just destroy your opponent's hand, um, and the advantage is ri absolutely ridiculous. I was playing them in my locals in Bristol, um, and it's there's just no point. Um, so I think uh, wind-up rat should be the one to go for that one. Um, and just just the fact that you get in you're just so easily summoning like level three or some some fourth um and you're just constantly doing carrier and carrier 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 three in one turn for three times and just a scar and everything and then with hunter as well um i don't think hunter or carrier are the problems um because with carrier you know you have to have half the cards with with it and you if if rat gets banned uh sorry not banned uh, put to one um then i don't see people running three uh, i think two at the very most um and yeah, just rat is ridiculous. I I personally think, um, in fact, it just keeps special summoning and exceeding and uh, it, it, it's not happy. I'm not happy with it. Um, I think the other one for insectors, uh, kind of raping on the orcs here, but they are kind of like the the decks that have kind of flourished onto the scene now, obviously because they've just come out. Um, I think. Uh, I always throw up either Hornet or Dragonfly, and I suppose they are the two boss, you know, the boss cards in that deck. To not boss as in big monster, but boss that can really get it going. Um, I would say probably Dragonfly uh, to go, just because uh, it is ridiculous. Um, and with Dragonfly to one, the deck doesn't become broken, but it doesn't become dead. If you know what I mean. Um, yeah, then going on to semi-limiting, um, a lot of people say Rabbit should be on one or two, 
Um, I quite like the rabbit deck. I don't. I know. I suppose I'll be called out for that because it is quite like a herp derp done laggy first turn go, and it is it is just ridiculous. Um, but I don't think it's going to go. But in all fairness, it probably should go to two. Um, yeah, there's not not much really to say to that. Um, but coming up to two from one from limited to semi limited, uh, I think. Uh, as I was uh, watching Pusley's video, um, I agree with him. I think Booker Moon should go to two. Um, it went to one, and I'm not sure why it went to one. I think it was mainly because uh, it was kind of a standard card, wasn't it? Um, everyone had it. It was like one of the first spells that you put in the deck. Um, and, yeah, I think it's it's not really doing that much. It is a good counter card for you know with the, all these loops going around and it gives you a bit of time when not it doesn't it stops your opponent from doing stuff obviously but it's not to the point where it completely wipes them out and is unfair I think it personally it's quite a fair uh, card and I mean it's been used against me a lot of times and it is fair um, it's it's not like giving me a disadvantage at all really um, but. It's, it's giving the opponent a chance, which, you know, it's it's not really good for the game if they're just this one turn, boom, done. Um, these decks that really don't take much, which is like wind-ups. It's just ridiculous. Um, coming off the band uh, list, I think, um, again, this is, this is kind of a personal thing, but I think Tsukiyomi should go to one. Um, I think well, I don't really care where it goes, but as long as it should, I don't think it should be banned anymore. I know a lot of people highly disagree with me, um, but it's it's just a buck on legs. You know, it's not really gonna do much. I don't think. Um, yeah, and the other one uh, that I think should come off. Um, back in the day, tribe infecting virus, good old tribe was ridiculous. Now I don't think it's gonna do too much. Um, there is a lot of diversity around now with obviously the synchros and the Xyz, Um and they, you know, they're all different, they're all different types. So I think if your opponent wants to wipe out your field by discarding most of their hand, then fair enough. I mean, it might benefit them slightly, but, you know, at the end of the day, they're going to be top decking, and top decking is never really good unless you're kind of hoping on that BLS. Um, so yeah, the, I, I think Tribe should be on there. Tribe and Tsukiyomi should come off now. They've been on there for a very long time. Um, stuff that probably people should think should be banned or put on the list completely. Um, Togai from the Underworld. Um, a lot of people hate Togai's. Mainly people who don't have it or can't afford it. Um, I don't have any Togai's, um, but I don't think it should be on there. Um, and I don't think it will be, considering that it's just getting a reprint in uh, the battle packs, um, and it's not even out, obviously, in o, uh, OGC. Um, I don't think it should be on there. Um, what other things? Uh, agents are kind of running, obviously, have been running uh, Storm in OGC for a while, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised to see something on there. Um, you know, kind of like your agent. Um, and if you check out Pusley's uh, bandless prediction video, it's kind of quite the same to mine, uh, because I quite agree with him uh, on a lot of the things. Um, Hyperion is pretty ridiculous. Uh, that deck, as he so rightly said, has so many boss monsters. Um, you have your BLS, you have uh, Trishula so easily getting out. Um, you have you know just crazy amount with uh, Christie and everything. Um, and it's just really, really easy to kind of win with that deck. And that's been around for, well, it's not been around for that long, really. Um, but it's been around for a bit. So I think that should probably go. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, feel free to let me know what you think. Um, call me an idiot if you so rightly think. Um, yeah, but it's kind of just one of those things that we're not going to know until March, really. Uh, so feel free to like. Um, subscribe and so on and so forth. So this is uh, Olympia signing out. Cheers guys.